got done with my Bath and Body Works and my GameStop haul. So this is the last one um, for today. Anyways, I'm still waiting for another one to be shipped. So this is an Ulta haul. It's a very, 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 very small Ulta haul, but uh, it's still not small. So the first thing I picked up was the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponges. So it was a two pack. It was like for ten. $10.99 or something like that. So, and they're each originally $5.99, so I'm saving like a dollar. But, um, I have one, and I absolutely love it, so I just got some backups in case one gets dirty, and I need, I don't really feel like cleaning it, so. There's those. And then I finally, 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 finally broke down. I've been wanting this since it came out. But I would just, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, get myself to be like, you know, the price just, it's crazy to me. So, the item I'm talking about is the Naked 3 palette. Um, I've wanted one of the Naked palettes for the longest. Um, I just... I just couldn't get, you know, get myself to understand to, or be like okay with buying it. Anyway, so there's like a little eyeshadow primer uh, sample thing in here, which that's a lot of. It feels like it's a lot of product. So I don't know how much it is. But I feel like they could have put it in like jars or something. Anyway, so um, this one has original, Eden, Sin, and anti-aging. So I feel like I've tried Sin. I think I've tried Sin. And I've done original. I haven't tried the other two though. So there they are. And they just come in this like, little booklet thingy. I didn't even realize that was in there. Because they even move stuff around. So let's go ahead and open the palette. So there it is. Woo. Yes, this is an actual naked palette. This is not a knockoff. I don't know. I just, I still don't know if I could uh, justify the 50 something dollar price tag, but. Like 54. So, just like all the other ones, supposedly, well, not supposedly, I've seen them. They come with a brush, so a big, like, blending, flathead, really dense brush, and then a flat, smaller shaded brush, and then all the Beautimus colors. So, there they are. And then there's the mirror. So, and there's... There's like one of those little film protector thingies on the mirror. And for some reason it doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. Bam. It's off. So. There's the mirror. There you guys are. So I finally own a naked palette. Um, I still want to get the other ones just to have them. Um, I feel like I'll use them. But I really, really wanted this one. And the reason I chose to get this one over the other two um, is because I like the pinky shades. Um, to me, this would be a really good palette to get if you were getting married because of all these shades right here. Not so much. Well, I guess, yeah, pretty much all of them. I have a feeling these two, right here, these two matte shades, are going to be my favorites. I don't know why. I just kind of had a feeling. So, um, I will do a first impression of this when I go to use it. 
and then I got this is like free gift with purchase type situation this is the Urban Decay Revolution Hide color gloss and it comes with this really cool well this really cool um, Urban Decay lip pencil which is supposed to help from feathering and stuff it's just a it broke when I pulled it out of the packaging but it's just a um, a clear um, stick and then it came with the colors Sailbait and Bittersweet so those are the two colors I got right there so can't wait to try it I'm not sure if I'll actually ever use it like ever actually buy it that's what I meant not use it but actually buy it and then I got some samples so I got the uh, matrix biolage advanced keratin dose shampoo and conditioner for over processed hair so that should be interesting since the uh, Clairol food hair deep root cleansing shampoo um, completely dried the freak out of my hair. I'm not very happy about that. So that, that'll be interesting to use. And then I got this Living Proof uh, Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. So it's supposed to be, uh, supposed to smooth, volumize, conditions, strengthen, and polishes. So... Yeah, we'll see. And then the last thing I got, which I've been, I've been wanting it since it came out again, just like the Naked Three, but I, this time I didn't wait as long. So I got the Ania, An Ania, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and I got it in Auburn. So comes in a jar like this. I'm sure you've seen it a million times because it seems like everybody's got one. And there's the product. So I feel like it would be a really good match for me. Um, cause I've tried doing, most redheads use taupe as their, uh, eyebrow color and I just can't justify taupe. I just, it doesn't look right on me. Um, because even without dyeing my eyebrows, my eyebrows are red. So, um, there's not very many companies that have red eyebrow products. So, and if they do, it's more like an orangey red and not like a red red or like a reddish brown, which is pretty much the color I would need. So, when I saw this, I was like, oh, gotta get it. Gotta try it. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's everything I got from Ulta. Um, let me know what your guys' opinions are on the whole Naked 3 palette. Like, is it seriously, like, putting aside that it comes in, well, not, not putting aside that it comes in one palette, but putting aside the price tag, is it really, truly worth the money? Like... Can you justify spending $54 on an eyeshadow palette? We'll see. As time goes on and I use it, we'll we'll see. Cause I just, as of right now, I just I don't I don't see where it's worth $54. I feel like Urban Decay is going way 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 too into the naked palettes, just because the first one was a huge success. And the second one, and now the third one, and now they've got a smoke one. Like it just seems like to me that they're, um, what's the word? Re-releasing colors that they already have that are in other palettes, um, and just giving you them all in one palette. I think that they said that this was the um, the most, uh, the most um. What's the word? There's a word that I'm thinking of. The most unique shades. Because, like, they're all, like, that rosy, pinky color. Um, 
So I have a feeling that this will be really good for my skin tone, too. I've, I've looked at reviews and stuff, and some people were like, oh, the Naked 2 palette is really good for, you know, somebody with my hair color, but whatever. So I want this one. So let me know your opinions, if you guys have one or don't. I mean, it's, it is what it is. We'll see. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.